a mother, Jessica Lang, and two children. Um, me and Sandy Keenan Bolger. And uh, still, you saw her walking for sure. Hey, Lynn, my nose is clean, it's just running. But she's laying down. That's what she's at. How am I? I'm doing good. It's 11.09 p.m. for me. I'm 30 a minute. I played first of all, I'm not 30. Second of all, I'm not, I didn't play. And third of all, if you hate your job, then quit it. It sounds like you don't like your life. People who don't like their lives are so focused on other people's lives. If you had something better to do with your life, you wouldn't be worried about whether or not I have a job. If I have a job or not, why are you so worried about it? That's what I never understood. If I, I know there's a lot of people out there who don't have jobs, men who are couch potatoes and refuse to get a job to help their wife. Why would I be like, you need to go get a job and worry about him when I can worry about myself? I only have a hundred years to live, like the song says. When you only got a hundred years to live, I don't have time to be worrying about other people and waste my life. The only life that I have to be worried about people that are not affecting my life. You you let my me affect you that much that you would rather do have nothing better to do than to worry about me. That's funny. <laughs> Imagine screaming at your phone at lunchtime because you don't like me. Funny. <laughs> I could never be that kind of person screaming at my phone because I don't like somebody, but. No, I didn't see the eclipse because I didn't have glasses. I do it every day. Do you even know what screaming is? Um, cause clearly some people don't know the difference between screaming and explaining. There's a difference between being angry and screaming at your phone and a difference between, uh, explaining something. You have, you have not even begun to see me angry. Trust me. People in high school have seen me angry. I tore up a paper in front of the Spanish teacher. Okay. That's angry because she accused me of cheating. So, let's be honest, me just talking about people is literally having a dialogue is not screaming because clearly I talk loud, like I've already stated that before because my mom's always been hard of hearing, so when I was in middle school she never had hearing aids until she got hearing aids from a place where they help disabled people and they helped her get hearing aids, yeah, but I I talk loud because my mom's hard of hearing. I'm used to that. That's not me yelling. That's not me screaming. Because I'm talking at the level that I'm used to. But if I was to scream or talk loud, I'd be really loud. And when I scream, I will be loud. Okay. I scream louder than most people, so... And sometimes I try to tone down, especially when I'm on live streams and I over talk people because they annoy me. I could really shut people up if I wanted to. But you know, I try to keep calm and not be hella rude, but I could really make people be quiet if I wanted to. My life shouldn't affect you in any way, shape or form. Your life shouldn't be affected by me in any way, shape or form. If you don't like the fact that someone doesn't have a job, then just leave it be, because I'm not gonna be concerned about other people not having jobs. I got a life I have to live. I got bills I gotta pay. My bills ain't gonna get paid worrying about someone else. You're not paying my bills. What are you doing for me? Nothing. Just like, I don't do anything for your bills or you. It's just a look at me, because you want attention. Just like when I was watching someone's live stream earlier, they were like talking about, oh, he's doing this, who's doing that. 
looking at the comments to see people react because they know drama is what gets them where they need to be. They use the drama to try to get views and make money because they were talking and then they would look at the comments for the reaction. It's just like... <laughs> they were like, oh, you... you like, he tried, he tried so hard. I remember when he did blow up. And then they would look at the comments and like, you're, you're not getting the reaction you think you're getting. The subscriber count is sad considering the fact I'm not consistent with lives. I didn't go live um, a lot last month, so that's why my subscriber count is low. I'm not upset because I'm not literally active. But let me tell you something. I really could have a lot of subscribers now if I go live a lot. If I keep consistency. So, yeah. Because if I really cared about subscribers, that's like, yeah, I don't, you know. It shows right there at 35, but my highest subscriber count was 300. Excuse me, I've had 300 subscribers. That's what I've had. <laughs> No, I don't I don't make money from subscribers only. I get paid from uh my videos being in the creativity beta program and I also get paid from the gift points and I do also get paid from subscribers but I'm getting bonuses for for each subscriber which has put me over put me up there in the payment but uh, my subscription is not like obviously thank you you just became a subscriber for five months I'm getting subscribers I'm getting subscribers even though I'm not live people subscribe to me when I'm not live which is which is crazy to me that I'm not even live and I get subscribers So, yeah. Oh, do you want to see something? Watch this. <laughs> yes, it's an off-brand Dr. Pepper because Dr. Pepper is being boycotted. Yes, I can afford an apartment on that payment. And I can afford one, but the one that I want to, that I could be living on my own and by myself, literally, you have to have credit. So I have to build credit before I could live there. And then I could live on my own. Um, can someone comment flop? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't. <laughs> You're not subscribed. She looks like her. Yeah, she's here, yeah. I'm nervous and watch her. Somewhere around high mom. Uh, but she also got us a photo of you as tree number two. Thank you, so Oh. Here you go. Excuse me. Tree number two. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's too late. This is what happens. I don't understand why people say flop when it comes to like views and stuff because first of all, I have not been consistent with going live. I actually went live late. I'm supposed to go live at the time it says in my TikTok file, which is why a lot of people don't join because they probably thought I wasn't going to go live and went to sleep. And also, if I go live much earlier, my views wouldn't be really low, but I was... I was gonna go to sleep, but then I said, no, I need to get up and be consistent with my lives because I was tired when I laid down. After I got off live earlier, 
I didn't do what I had to do because I felt crub crummy, so I laid down. I felt super crummy. I laid down and I didn't go. I, I took a little nap. I went to sleep, woke up, felt a little crummy. And then was like, you know what? Thank you for the gift points. I was like, you know what? I, I'm i going to go to sleep. I don't want to go live today. And then I was like, you know what? I need to go live. So here I am. But I was going to go to sleep. But thank you for the subscription goals. Um, when I get off, I keep saying I'm going to work on emotes and, you know, I just, I'm in that, like, hi, thank you for subscribing, Sephora. I've just been in that mode of being sleepy all the time, you know, hi, <laughs> Sephora. <laughs> Sorry. I've been in that mode of, like, just sleep. I've been like tired have been getting <laughs> thank you for the couch potato i love that gift thank you for the couch potato we were just talking about couch potatoes <laughs> thank you but i just been in that like i don't want to do anything i'm tired <laughs> it may be a little depression maybe i don't know <laughs> I should go see a doctor. But the thing to me is I don't want to take any medication. If they say, oh, you have to take this medication, it'll help you not feel like that. No, thank you. It'll help me feel worse. <laughs> Sorry. I hate when they do that, when they're like, oh, um, you're like, they always are like, oh, you're, um, you're feeling crummy. Let's shove you with a medication. That's what they always do to people. Here, have a medication. No, thank you. Thank you for the gift points. <coughs> oh, you're... Da -da -da -da. Take this pill. No, thank you. Sometimes I have no motivation for nothing, but that's okay. We'll get back there. <laughs> Somewhere. Thank you for the gift points. You started to cough like your mom. <laughs> you literally made a username saying that I'm coughing because I'm sick. Well, not really. I think I still have mucus buildup. And I have this really bad cough. Thank you for the galaxy, Mia. But yeah, um, I don't know why, I've just been not feeling good, and I have like a not so good cough. Why is everyone saying flop? Because I don't have a lot of subscribers and my views are low, but I don't go live, if I go live at the time, right, if I go live at the times I'm supposed to, my views won't be low, but also if I was talking about drama, I'm pretty sure people would be in here. Hey guys, hey. Let's, let's get this. They have a leaderboard for popular lives, but that's if you get gift points and your team. My team is not like where it needs to be. I will never understand certain people being popular or, or being like... A high rank considering what who they are like Jeffree Star or Pretty Boy Ali Pretty 
pretty boy Ali is rude when he loses. Thank you for the team bracelet. If you guys are a part of the team, make sure you interact and you do the challenges, which I think are like commenting, sending a gift that's like one coin. It's not expensive. A team bracelet or a heart me thing. If you are a team member, make sure that you are doing your team member duties to stay active because, yeah, we have to. And I preference the gift being one coin because I don't want people to say, oh, you're, you're begging for gift points. No, it's just one coin. It would be different if I said send a galaxy. But. <laughs> Anyways. I was going to say something else and I forgot. Man, nose is itchy. Will you ever do NPC Live? I have done. Oh, I have something in my nose. Not that I just did that. Hold on. I have done an NPC Live before. Thank you for the eyes. I have done an NPC Live, and let me tell you something. If I would have kept at it, I probably would have made a lot of money. When I did an NPC Live, because I was like joking around, I I have received a lot of gifts. A lot of people joined, more people than normal, and it was crazy. Thank you for the paper crane. Thank you for the gift points, Mia. Make sure you guys follow the top gifters and don't harass the top gifters, please. That's not nice. Like, I will never understand that. But, okay. Anyways, I shouldn't have to say that. I don't understand why people attack people that gift. Like, it's their money. They can just do what they want. But anyways, like I was saying, there was a video that oh speaking of NPC, there was a video that came on my explore page on Instagram, and it was um, Pinky Doll and she was like, uh, uh, watch me eat a whole pizza, and 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 a whole bread like cheese sticks, and she ate the whole. I was like how like I was just getting sick watching her eat the whole pizza, even I'm plus size and I don't and I could not eat a whole pizza. Sometimes I do eat if I sometimes it feels like I eat and then I, and then it goes right through me like I haven't eaten But I don't I cannot eat thank you for the glasses. I'm like, how do you eat a whole pizza? I could not do it I'm sorry People think I eat a lot, but I I don't really I could barely eat dinner sometimes I'll skip dinner if I'm not hungry enough. But then I have to force myself because I haven't eaten dinner, you know? Did you guys see that Missy Elliott's going on tour with Sierra? Thank you for the cowboy hat. No, <laughs> I kind of want to. I'm going to see where they're going on tour. Because I want to see Missy Elliott on tour. See my nose, I blow and it looks like I don't even. Sorry, I'm looking on my nose. Thank you for the team bracelet. But yeah, we need to get the subscriptions up so I need to start doing more because I don't do a lot of things for subscribers. That's why I feel like a lot of people and plus I'm not active. If I was active on live, I have a lot of subscribers when I put it in sub only. So yeah. Thank you for the gift points. Barracuda. Anyways, <laughs> I got to work on my subscriber thing. It's kind of like Patreon. Thank you for the heart hands or hand heart. 
You know, it's kind of like Patreon. Like, they always provide things. Like, and I need to do that for subscribers. Because I feel like <laughs> people subscribe and they don't get a lot of... Besides emotes, which you could use the emotes, but... Which I'm going to be working more on those. She kind of looks like Roseanne. I'm sorry. But hey guys, <clears throat> thank you for spamming the likes. Let's see who's the thing. Oh. Sometimes when I see the invite go away, I get scared because I think I accidentally clicked to like go live with someone and then I get anxiety. I don't really like going live with people. Mulligan Master. Oh, that's probably someone that plays golf. I don't really like golf. Thank you for spamming the likes. There was something else I was going to say and I literally forgot. <laughs> Today is Monday. Why do I think it was? Why do I keep thinking it's Wednesday? I'm like, what's today? <coughs> today is Monday, not Wednesday. Anytime I see a white person with dreads, I get more embarrassed. What do you think of JoJo Siwa? I'm not a huge fan. And, um, I can't speak on it because someone else, you know, I'm not part of the community, but someone said something she said was problematic, <laughs> and, yeah. Because <coughs> she went, excuse me, she went on, um, she didn't, she was being interviewed, I guess she was on a red carpet somewhere, and she was like, I'm gonna create this new type of music that is, uh... I think she said gay pop or something. I don't know. And then someone who was part of the community said that that was problematic what she said. And the thing I don't understand is like she's she's trying she's saying that she's trying to be in her um, Miley Cyrus era like bangers era, and she's saying that no one her, her age has done what she's done in a sense of like this drastic change when there's a lot of people who have had drastically changed and not in, in a good way that people expected one of which being the person that she says that she was in the era of Miley Cyrus Banger's era Miley Cyrus was literally a Disney Channel star and took a semi-nude photo <laughs> talk about drastic change that was huge. It was everywhere. They were not okay with that. And then the the greens, you know, she she had um she you know she got caught with weed. <coughs> Excuse me. When she got caught with. And she was still working for Disney at that time. A lot of Disney stars have acted or spiraled out like Bella Thorne, Miley Cyrus. Um, I'm trying to think who else, but some of them have come out and become like not <clears throat> as drastic of change as like Miley Cyrus or Bella Thorne, but Zendaya is one of them. Coco Jones. Who else? 
um, Bridget Medler, who now is a, uh, what do you call it? Not a business owner, but like an investor type thing. I forget. Anyways, it's very prestigious. And she just recently became one. And she, yeah. Every watch I sell, new and used watches at discounted prices, satisfaction. Or my shoulder. But yeah. Like to literally sit there and be like, nobody's ever done what I've done before. I hate when people act like they reinvent something that's already been invented. Like, I'm not, and I know how, um, thank you for the heart me. I know how Nicki Minaj fans feel, but you can't deny she copped her style from Little Kim. Like, she did not reinvent colorful wigs or this multiple persona personality. There's people before her that have been doing that. Like, when people act like someone invents something, it gets annoying. That was like the whole thing where Hailey Bieber got called out for inventing a, like, what do you call it? A, not lip tint. What is, now I'm trying to think what it's called. It's the um, lip combination that she did, calling it glazed brownie and uh, people. Yeah, she called it glazed brownie or glazed donut or something like that. She said glazed brownie because it was a brown lip combo. And she got called out for that because a lot of Latinas and black people in specifics wore that lip combo back in the day in the 90s. They was doing that lip combo and she comes and she's like, I invented this. Like, no, you didn't. And streetwear, if you didn't know, is not called streetwear. I learned that, that apparently that style of dress they stole it and renamed it streetwear. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't understand people acting like they invent things. That's like a lot of people taking Mexican dishes. There was one that someone tried to call it some mouse. Flat tacos. <laughs> you remember that one where they were like, I, I think I might have just created something and they called it flat tacos. I was like, it's not flat tacos, but okay. <laughs> Who's ever heard of a flat taco? Only the white people because they think they they invented something that is out of this world. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure flat tacos are out of this world <laughs> to you. But it, it I just laugh at this stuff because it's like, um, that's definitely not flat tacos, but okay. If you say so. Oh, I don't want the remote. I don't like, I don't like this guy, Seth Meyers, or whatever his name is, yeah. I just never understood it. Like, <laughs> colonizers will colonize, right? It just doesn't make sense. Like, how are you gonna say you invented something? That's like me calling <laughs> post-its sticky sticky paper and saying I invented this thing called sticky paper <laughs> and it's post-its that makes me think of Rami and Michelle's high school reunion when they went to their high school reunion they were like yeah my dad invented post-its and my dad invented pop tarts <laughs> they they were not as popular as they tried to make themselves seem That's funny, but even though I don't like him, that was a good one. I don't like Trump, so. Uh. 
they face from hurricanes, flooding, sinkholes, and of course, other Floridians. A comic book featuring the first appearance of Superman recently sold at auction for $6 million, while a comic book featuring the first appearance of Aquaman was used as scrap paper to write down the bid. And finally, a firefighter in Florida was arrested for a decent exposure after he allegedly exposed himself to a woman in a 7-Eleven store. The last thing that place needs is another weird-looking wiener. And that... That was a monologue, everybody. We are all running for you tonight. She is a, a Tony, Emmy, and Academy Award-winning actress who is currently starring in Mother Play at Second Stage's Hayes Theater here in New York. The one and the only Jessica Lange will be here. play appropriate at the Velasco Theater, also here in the city. I saw it love you. Corey Stoll will be joining us. I want to see a play. <laughs> well, before we get to all that, I have a very exciting announcement. I want to mention a new podcast that launched today. It's called The Lonely Island and Seth Meyers Podcast. Everybody want, is starting a podcast. I wanted to start a podcast a long time ago when I was in high school because we had to do something where we had to kind of do it like a podcast type thing. I don't remember what the project was, but it was for a film class. And at that time, not a lot of people were listening to podcasts. And so now every influencer is like, every influencer is like, Oh, I want to I wanna make a podcast now and it just like I still might do a podcast, but Oh, the what in December. You're wearing the glasses for it. <sighs> we are? This is just a fashion choice for us. Uh, you're just wearing those glasses for Ugh, fashion. that's gross. Block. Like, that's not... That's a weird username. Hey, do ASMR? You mean, like, with the mic and stuff? I feel like... There's a lot of people already that do ASMR. This isn't you. This is an AI photo. <laughs> yeah, that's from the movie AI. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you guys didn't know there was an eclipse today. Can I be honest with you, Seth? Yeah. I can't see. <laughs> I need to change this with the remote over there. Hold on, guys. Uh, uh, banana nut muffin. Where did I go to get the remote so I could change it? It says nothing. It says nothing because just because he was out about quite a bit this weekend, uh, he still is under a lot of pressure. But he was uh, went out to a, a place I used to get coffee and ended up someone, a local uh, a, a fitness expert, ran into him, posted the video, and did he? It doesn't seem like he's just chilling. Looks like he's Stevie chilling, J. But I gotta say, Stevie J is there hanging with him too. Stevie J is there. And he looks relaxed. I used to watch Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> I stopped watching he's it. He's manager. He's got uh, a legal team. There are all sorts of people that are scrambling right now. And I think the word 
word scrambling in this case is accurate. Um, because look, he is under a microscope. They've turned his two homes upside down. Um, he is a, under serious criminal investigation for a lot of really serious alleged crimes. He's not chilling. Well, by Saturday, I mean, I agree with you, but he at least wants everyone to feel like he wants okay. to create. Saturday, he was out about on Star Island, um, sitting on the dock of the bay, <laughs> dancing like Vinny does, right? So, Imagine being investigated by the feds, and, he knows that there and you just about, out right? and about so like nothing. Putting on a fake, brave face and try to smile for the cameras and, and being going through investigated for smex trafficking to like fake it till you make it, is <laughs> that's that crazy posted photos of his one-year-old daughter that he shares with Dana right. Train, his latest baby mama uh on easter of the little girl all dressed up he was saying he was telegraphing you oh, know happy easter happy easter for my daughter and me when in reality he's not with the daughter the daughter was with the mom who was with Kamora Lee Simmons, and on its face, from the photos they posted, it does not appear Diddy was with them. So he's like trying to kind of like grab onto that and be like, oh yeah, me too, but nah, bro, you're not, you're not there. It's very interesting to see who's who's cozying up to Diddy right now. It's not his baby mama. It's it's like his buddies, like CBJ and like his. Um, whenever I'm able to get to storage and, like to and um get my pots and pans, just so you know, I mean, a lot of people are wondering, well, now we'll do cooking sense. lives. I'm right in his house a week ago. House is a week ago. Um, this should go fast. I don't think this is going to go fast at all. They've got to go through all the computer data. But on top of that, what they've got to do is piece all of this together because the allegations are that he was trafficking, um, I guess, women um, from state to state. Women and men. Or and men. Depending, on which and lawsuit, depending on which lawsuit you're looking at. But whatever the feds are looking at for human trafficking, they're going to have to piece it all together, look at flight manifests, interview people. No, we have a stove. And that's going to take a long time and for them to get to a point where they feel like we have this right down solid and then that, you know, doesn't happen over there. They do not, I, you know, a lot of people think, oh, that there's a lot of pressure for them to, you know, either, you know, blank or get off the pot. Um, that's not the way the feds work. Uh, the way they work is they want to make sure a conviction sticks if they're going to file because if they file and they don't get a conviction, it is disaster for the U.S. Attorney's Office. So they've got to make sure if they have a case that they have it rock solid before they file. And if it's not rock solid, they may not file anything again. And, and in the meantime, maybe he has to try to continue living his life as normally as he can, and we'll see if he can do that. Hey, how y'all doing? This is uh, Jaleel. I'm in Atlanta. Man, I feel bad for Cliffy. You know what I mean? I think he's going to be the fall guy for bigger things behind him. So this obviously loves his kids. His yeah, a man would defend so another man. He posted his story. I mean, Yikes. <laughs> Ain't no defending Diddy. <laughs> Jesus. I can't stay bent for a long time. I don't understand. Well, maybe I do. Never mind. I'm not even going to vote there. But was it a I feel like Diddy's guilty. I feel like he did it. New Mexico is in my blood. I don't understand other men coming to the the defense of him. Like seriously. Other people's stories that they didn't believe now is coming, you know, like that one girl trying to tell everyone and no one wanted to listen.
but you know. I need to go get a water. What is this like League C4 stuff? <laughs> to be top 10%, I need 305.7k more diamonds. There are so many different types of rankings, it's hard to like. I don't even know what what anymore. Hey. No, I made myself bleed. It's like she's on Taylor Swift, her 1989 album. She has four vinyls. They're all the same, but different colors. Same music, different colors. Different people to buy all four. And when you say some of the biggest artists in the world, who is she talking about? Now, so she's railing that. Right. So uh, she's making the point. She's very upset. Why did I do that? And I'm sorry for said, those of you who don't like blood. She's talking about Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, and this was her response. She said, Okay, so it would be awesome if people would stop putting words into my mouth mm. and actually read what I said in that Billboard article. I wasn't singling anyone out. These are industry-wide systemic issues. And when it comes to variants, so many artists release them, including me, which I clearly state in the article. The climate crisis is now, and it's about all of us being part of the problem and trying to do better. Well, she talked about top artists. She didn't talk about industry-wide. She talked about top artists. Her albums, which are vinyl some, they are recyclable. Right. And uh, that's what we thought the distinction she was drawing. But the idea, so why pray tell do you suppose she has come out with this? Well, because she felt the, the crushing weight of the Swifties falling. Yeah. But Swift, but Swifties shouldn't be attacking people. Taylor Swift, let me tell you something. I don't understand all this hype around a white woman who doesn't care about minority issues and only cares about herself and her sales. And I and I really hate white feminist people and white feminist women and specifically Taylor Swift. Sorry, you can hate me for saying that, but it's true. When when Maddie um Maddie Healy from 1975 has said all those horrible things, especially about I Spy. She didn't stick up for anyone. She didn't denounce anything. She just broke up with him and thought that would be better. And what about all the stuff that, and, and especially not caring about a genocide and letting your movie play at a place where they're the ones behind the genocide and you're letting these people enjoy their lives while people who are going through a genocide don't get to enjoy you and beyonce both should be boycotted and i don't understand right and we all seem to forget that like we shouldn't even be streaming cowboy carter if we're going to be truly honest not because it's a country album made by a black woman but because she's supposed to be boycotted are we literally forgetting that these companies are being boycotted? There's people still buying McDonald's and, and people in the comment section leaving positive comments like, did y'all forget that we're boycotting McDonald's? And then you have, and then you have people still doing promotions and still working with um, Starbucks. And it's like, I get it, make your money, but Starbucks supports a, a G side. 
are we still going to just act like we're not boycotting them anymore did we all just forget because if i was to go buy starbucks and i was literally drinking starbucks in a car which i don't like coffee but let's say i went to starbucks and i'm drinking starbucks in a car making a video people would literally <coughs> attack me and target me and say why are you buying starbucks but it when it's any other person i see positive comments and i'm like Oh, it's very telling how people treat others versus others. Thank you for subscribing. It's selective outrage. Are you sure? Yes, we're moving. Step down. It's very soft. We're up the sofa. I'm sorry, but it's like, come on. I don't know. I don't know how to walk anymore in this country. We're going to talk about Rebel Wilson now, whose book is coming out. It's just like, I don't like how certain people are, right? Like, Let's be honest, Taylor Swift is not for the minorities. And I, I, you know, I hate this like bandwagoning type thing where people are like, you cannot say nothing about Taylor Swift. I feel like her relationship is a publicity stunt. Sorry, that's just how I feel. Because of Travis Kelsey and how they always portray themselves in the media. Oh, he, he flies to her concerts. Oh, she flies to his games and who cares like his girlfriend faced so much racism because of her and she didn't say not anything to say hey guys leave his ex alone this girl faced racism because they because of of something that she spoke out about him in a podcast and swifties attacked her because she was a black woman like Oh, he wants to portray himself to be this good guy because he has this good girl, Taylor Swift. No, like, move aside. You allowed your ex, who is a dark-skinned woman, to face racism over a white girl who makes basic music. Come on now. That's wrong. Like, she should have told her fans, I don't condone racism. It is very telling. And even if, right... She was too busy to see this stuff. She's seen it. You cannot tell me she has not seen the backlash and this stuff caused around behind her and her dating Travis Kelsey over his ex. She, she had to have seen it. She has not once. She is very rich, has a lot of people following her, has a huge platform and has not once used her platform to talk about a genocide. Neither has Beyonce. And this is not a black or white thing because people say, well, you always talk about white people, but what about Beyonce? Like, we didn't say it was okay for Beyonce not to post about a genocide either. Neither of them have posted anything. And Beyonce is a billionaire with lots of money. And you mean to tell me you can't take time out of your day to be like, hey, what's going on in this country is not right. You both supported a, a country that caused a G-side and you literally allowed your movies to still be played there. And then here we are, people are asking you to boycott and we still haven't been boycotting people. Like you listen to Cowboy Carter and you're, you're, you're praising someone who doesn't even care. Oh, that's with that football player's car. I forget who. And then they got out and they tried to walk away and they left the crash. That's crazy. Anyways. These rich people seem to don't care about third or real world issues. I shouldn't say third world because people don't like that. Don't come for me. But these people really don't like, like celebrities don't really talk to. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get it. People are gonna listen to Cowboy Carter, but we're supposed to be boycotting them. Like if it was any other person, right? They'd be like, why are you not boycotting? Like, I get it. But these celebrities really don't care about other countries going through something. They only care about themselves. Imagine living in a giant mansion with all that money and security 24-7 around the clock protecting you. And you live in this mansion and all you have to do is eat caviar every day. 
caviar is expensive and eat you can eat whatever you want if you feel like steak you can have steak us us peasants sorry i shouldn't say peasants yes and that's the thing like me not being rich and i still use my platform almost every day for a, a g side and i and i do post stuff about it right and there have been um there has been accounts that have reached out to me which i'm still looking into i don't know how i feel about it because they asked me to share their GoFundMe. they're trying to raise money for their family i don't want to be rude and be like I think you're a scammer and they're not. Yeah, they. I feel like if you have a large following, you have uh, the right to influence people, especially when it comes to voting. Like, ever since, I, and I feel like, and this goes towards certain people, this is not me hating or attacking Cardi B, but when Cardi B was so outspoken about politics and then just like, dipped out of politics no longer wanted to do anything with politics it's just like it's very telling it's just like oh you were fake this whole time because we have the chance these people have the chance to influence people to make the right decisions when voting too because we're voting people in office who really don't care about us if we're being honest we should be voting third party the fact that we're even saying the lesser of two evils, we either have to vote between Republican or Democrat is crazy. You don't have to do neither of the sort. You can vote third party. I know some people don't like politics, but the people in the government aren't doing anything for us. Joe Biden supports the G side. Um, inflation is high. They still have yet to tax the rich. Which is crazy to me how you're talking about tax the rich, tax the rich, but you never tax the rich. Right? It's just crazy to me just how. And it looks like they were drag racing. That the two black cars. Yeah, the two were black cars. So everybody else on the road seems like an innocent victim. Um, and when all the cars come to a stop, thank you for the time to do People get out of the Lambo. Now, so obviously, somebody was also driving the Corvette. We don't see who gets out of the Corvette. And we're not sure which of the two cars was registered to. One of them is what the police have said is one of them is registered to a machine. They haven't said which one, but we do know this. Uh, Rasheed has been seen driving a black Corvette. Um, in fact, it was kind of a cute scene last season when he was leaving his neighborhood. There were some kids, his neighbors, who were cheering for him as he was on his way to a game, to a Chiefs game. So we do know that he has a black Corvette. Can't confirm it. That's the same one that's in, that was involved in the accident. We also don't know if he was the driver of the car. But what happened was people left the scene, which, by the way, is a crime. You are not allowed to regardless of the to start the accident. That's right. You are not allowed to leave the scene of an accident that causes damage or property damage without staying, leaving information and whatnot. They fled. These are the gentlemen who walked away from the accident. So I don't know if I should block that account or not for, because uh, for Rashid, they want to talk to him. The username. He owns one of those cars, right? And so <coughs> now has not responded as far as we know. Um, has not gone to the police. And they want, they want to uh, have a chit chat with him, yes. Uh, and one of the people who was involved in that accident was a victim uh, who was driving that silver car. Her name is Kayla Quinn, and she was actually in the car with her, uh, her young uh, child. And thankfully, um, the child is okay. Kayla is, what the way the police reported, they said that there were minor injuries. Uh, but Kayla is joining us right now to tell us what she saw, um, especially when those people were walking away from the scene. So, uh, Kayla Quinn, welcome to TMZ Live. Hi. Hey, Kayla, why don't you, why don't you call us? Yeah, I mean, are you, uh, you're hurting? Uh, my, all of my left side was kind of hurting. My, my, my left eye, my neck, my back, my shoulders, it's hurting, but 
But other than that, I'm kind of fine. Um, other than that, there's not much else. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and your son's okay, right? My son, he's okay. Thank you for the rose. He's shaky about it. He's scared. Yeah. He keeps on. <laughs> About it, but, uh, but yeah. Why don't you just kind of paint the picture of what happened? You're driving along, driving along. Yeah, I'm just you know driving from the zoo. I'm getting to pick up my um, son from his mentor, and you know normally I try to like you know drive and look you know at my windows because you got to look for everybody because everybody can drive. But I guess this time I wasn't looking or paying attention to my surroundings, and next thing you know I just boom like I got me on the left side, and I'm just like. Uh, scary in the street. I'm like, wait, like, what is going on? So, That's uh, scary. Like, if you can see a video, like, the white car, the van, all of them few in front of me. So, I had to blindly, like, drive on the left side of the highway to get out of the middle of the street. Um, and then once I kind of got out, um, I grabbed my son, he's screaming, and I happened to look. And happens, I'm looking at my uh, mirror, that's when I seen, like, white shirt pulling um, somebody out of the Corvette, I'm not sure who was being pulled. I can't tell you who was being pulled, but I seen white shirt pulling somebody out. Then that's when they proceeded to walk kind of up the highway. Where did they go? I mean, were they walking on the on the highway there? I, they would walk. They walk because the accident was this kind of like to, if you was exiting like Mark hey. like going up that ramp, they kind of walked around that ramp and then get to Mark and train station up there. I don't know if they went to the train station, but they walked up. You know what's eerie is that TikTok knows when people are going to join. That's eerie because whenever, before someone joins, this is how I know someone's going to come in my live because it always says that their um, subscription's going to end and then they, they end up showing up on the live. <coughs> I don't know why TikTok does that. That's kind of eerie. <laughs> Is that the person who was pulled out of the... No, he was, it, he was, in, I don't know who was being pulled out. I can't say who. But you said it was somebody in pink pants. Yeah, I couldn't remember what color he had on, but yeah, it was someone else. But he got on the chain, though, with a little bag with his hair. Have the, have the police talked to you at all? Well, they don't talk to the scene, right? I talked to them, like, on the scene, but as far as, like... Since it happened, nobody has reached out. Like the police hasn't reached out. And your car is totaled. Yeah, it's totaled. Like, Camito, no. <laughs> wow. Um, well, I gotta tell you, I know uh, Jacoby and Myers, but I will tell you, you got a case here. I think you got a case where there's some strong video evidence uh, yeah. to say that you've got a case, um, regardless of who was behind the wheel. Um, obviously, you were a victim, so. Uh, Kayla, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, hopefully the police are going to get to the bottom of this. Thank y'all so much. And you get a new car. And then I do have my GoFundMe as well. Um, if you guys are able to donate, I'm going to to share my link. Um, but thank y'all. We really are. Thank you, thank Kayla. You. Uh, you, you know what's going to be interesting, too, is that they got away so fast, according to Kayla, that I'm sure they must have left things in the car that are going to be identifying for the police. Yeah. So um, they should be able to crack this caper. Yeah. Uh, we're taking a break. All, All right. right. When we come back, Shakira has something to say about Barbie uh, and why she felt the movie was, in her word, emasculating. Um, and that, she says, is how... Oh, her son. She defended what her son said about the Barbie movie. Like, if we don't live in a patriarch patriarchal society where it's built off of... Um, why was I gonna say mansplaining? That makes no sense. It's for fireman's flavor. Chipotle's chicken al pastor. The way misogyny. Like, why should we care what your sons think about the Barbie movie? Like, everything's built off of the patriarchal society of misogyny, and you want us to, yeah, no. Like, that was a bad take. That was a very bad take, what um, Shakira had to say. Ain't you, like, for tax evasion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. <laughs> Joy Coy said that 
the Barbie movie was all about the girls with big boobs. <laughs> that was a bad take too. <coughs> Sorry guys, I still kind of have like that call. Wait there. This finger is so badly messed up. <laughs> See, now watch, potatoes will join. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict it right now. Potatoes is coming on the live because it says whenever it says someone will lose their subscription, they join the live. <laughs> I don't know why TikTok does that. It's weird. I love green chili. I should try Laguna Burger. Let's see if it's good. I still haven't tried Five Guys, and people said Five Guys was good. Just overpriced, yeah. Of their possibility to be men. So we have talked about this here before. I have said we exactly oh that, that like puzzle thing came up. I was wondering why my screen went dim. So agree with her on this. That I look when you watch movies, I think for an eleven and a nine year old to watch that movie, yes, it can land on them that way. Oh, uh, it's hanging out of my nose. And I just blew my nose. <laughs> Excuse me. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> it's going good. Sorry, guys. It's just, I'm sorry. All men are bad, yes. You know what? I, we gotta stop saying not all men. I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, every man that is born is born with misogyny, okay? They think they're better than women. They treat women like trash. T -t <laughs> what am I watching, TMZ? Should I be watching TMZ? No. <laughs> I'm tired of this not all men because when it comes down to it every single man has some sort of misogyny they're inherently or inherently I don't know I say it wrong but you know misogynistic men think they're better than women they treat women horribly trust me I faced misogyny when I was young I talked about it when I was one time where I joined, uh, my brother's friends were playing football and I joined in and the dad got mad because I was good and his son, he didn't teach his son anything but to be a sore loser. Like, okay, so what if girls are good at football? All you taught your son was to be a sore loser because I, because I, because I made a really good play and you were mad at that. Like, come on now. <laughs> Like, I, I don't understand it. You could have taught your son to be better, but no, you taught him to be a sore loser. 
and whenever things aren't going his way to like leave and because he's not getting his way that doesn't make any sense you're his father you should be teaching him better i had like I had like joined this match, right? This game in the middle of the game, I joined. They were like, you could join in. And so there was this really great pass and I caught it and I made a touchdown. The dad was so mad. He's like, come on, let's go. He took his son, he took his football and he left. And I'm just, that, I was like, I'm sorry guys. And they were like, it's okay. It was not okay. Like women could do just as much as men can do. And if you're that threatened by me, <laughs> and you are t like quadruple my age because you're an adult. I was a teenager and you're threatened by a teenager and you taught your son just to like walk away. I was in high school, so probably like 15, 16 at the time. So, yeah. Because you're a man, <laughs> you would disagree with the woman. I'm just kidding. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. He's been going after his ex, 50 Cent. Anyways, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I didn't do anything for that man to feel threatened besides being a woman. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever experienced something. And in high school, I wanted to do wrestling. I wasn't afraid about what men were going to say about me being a wrestler. What, how outraged, because I didn't really care. When it came to football, I wanted to have like an all girls football team because I was like, you know what would be cool is if we had an all girls football team in high school, then that's where I kind of <laughs> cared what men would think because I would be like, oh, I could see the dads having um, a protest and outrage. And I was like, I don't want to have to face dad protesting. So <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I never went through it. This other girl was really excited about the idea because she was like, I would join. We do have in New Mexico like a, I, I don't think it's flag football. I think it's like regular football, all women's football team. I don't know if they're still a football team, but I do know that they have an all women's football league, not like soccer, like American football. And so, yeah. The only girl that was on the football team wasn't really on the football team in high school. She was like the manager or the equipment manager or something like that. They had her on the team because she wanted to be on the team. So that's what they gave her. But I've never understood like saying women can't do what men can because we can and you know football is a is a very dangerous sport but yeah and I get a lot of my <laughs> my football skills for my dad because he was a quarterback in high school and he was also a track star and you know a lot of people told me i'm good at throwing a football so i'm just like eh. i mean i do get it for my dad i guess but you know i don't understand this like men thinking they're better than women but you know why can't TV always be like this one commercial and then it goes back to the show instead of 50 million commercials? 
picks. I made no picks. Um, <laughs> no, I, got, I didn't check your thing to see if you picked UConn, but uh, UConn is going to be in the Final Four on Saturday. <laughs> they played. I've never uh, understood. Um, Larry David was in the what do you call it? To be in an Elite Eight game is misery, right? It's misery. Yeah. It just looks like misery. And I know people think, like, this is just Larry David's shtick now. It didn't seem like shtick because he's, he's just gone. He's. Just, he's, just, uh, he's now watch this. Now watch this other shot. The other shot. Yeah, what are they doing? They got me up on the board. Got his ears covering his ears. <laughs> You're at a big. This is what I hate about people that don't like loud noises and go to places where there's loud noises, especially concerts. There was someone that almost threw someone out of a concert and it was their first experience of a K-pop concert and they were excited to go and they almost got kicked out because someone else was mad that she was being loud, even though it's a K-pop concert and that's what concerts are for. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember that story. It was um, Permission to Dance LA, you know, BTS. And this girl and her brother went, and I believe she was 16, and her brother took her to have a great experience. And little, she did not have a good experience because the girl called security over and was like, she's loud. Like, you know, and almost got her kicked out of a concert because she didn't like the fact that this girl was loud and enjoying the concert. Like, then why did you go? And you almost ruined that for that girl. And this is why I don't like some K-pop stands. And I do understand the, the ideology of people being like, well, still go to a concert even if you only know their newer songs. If you're just like a fan of them now, like still go, because there's some of those people that are like, don't go to a concert if you only know one or two songs. Now, me personally, I agree, like, if you only know one or two songs, still go. But then I don't kind of agree because I hate these people only liking BTS because of, like, um, permission to dance. And then they treat other people rudely. It's just like, I don't understand. So I don't understand K-pop stands in general. They are um, colorist. They are fat phobic. And they are racist. And I will never understand it. Anytime someone calls out K-pop idols for cultural appropriation, they get mad. But how can you get mad at us when K-pop came from black music and you refuse to acknowledge that? Now, who is K-pop stands? Some of the K-pop stands make a lot of people want to not listen to or leave k-pop all in general that's why you know i do post k-pop stuff here and there i used to do k-pop dances and stuff but as far as k-pop stands go they ruin it for everyone else like people cannot enjoy k-pop because they are so and and some of them are fetishizers to be totally honest with you i hate being labeled a fetishizer of asians while these are the same people attacking and harassing Asian people, which is why I had to turn my comments off, or my, my not my comments, my likes off. Someone asked me to turn the likes off because they were getting harassed just for being Asian, and people was going in their comment section saying, how, how does it feel that she likes your videos? It's weird. And then them going on a hunt to harass this Asian guy, which they still are, to try to force him to ask me out because he's Asian and it's weird and it makes me feel uncomfortable like this is the stuff that they literally do and they don't go after the actual fetishizers like that one girl it's just jazz or whatever her name was she did a duet with fash and fash reposted her duet on his page she was the same girl who threw a card which i believe was Jin. she got a like the photo card and she threw it at the wall because she didn't like who she got she literally talks about um like oh me and nam june are gonna get married he's my husband uh, i i get it everyone makes jokes like that right but it's she's been called out for fetishizing she literally supported stands she said it was okay for them to show up to the airport during the time that covid was high when it was like people should be quarantined they literally were waiting like packed like sardines together to watch was it jk 
there was like a fashion show or I think it was the Met Gala or I can't remember what it was. Something that BTS was here for and they were getting off the plane in New York and stands went to catch a glimpse of them during COVID and not quarantining. And she said it was okay for them to do that. I'm like, you're problematic and that's the reason why they think they could do it what they want like the one girl that tried to grab jk at the airport the the one the one fan or stan who threw her bra on stage at a bts member like that's totally not okay and that's weird they don't they don't respect personal space saw sayings uh, what is it are they called saw sayings there's like literally a term for this, this type of person who sells personal information of K-pop idols to make money? They'll they'll fly on airplanes, the same airplanes that K-pop idols are on, just to get secret photos of them and sell it. Um, they'll go into the bathroom after a K-pop idol has went into the bathroom and do certain things in that restroom, and then leave. Like it is just it's just so weird. There's a whole thing on it. I watched a whole YouTube video. And some people have been um, known to lie about having certain information just to make money. And it's not true saying like, I know who um, Tae, Tae Hyung's girlfriend is. If you, they blur out the, the information and people think it's real. Some people are so crazy enough they'll pay for it. Oh, you have uh, Tae Hyung's uh, phone number, let me have that. And they'll pay for it. And then what ends up happening is it's fake. It's not real information. They get scammed. And sometimes they do have real information. And like, it's the fact that Dispatch, I believe that's what it's called, is still out here being problematic and telling people, oh, so-and-so is dating. And then it made, first of all, when it comes to K-pop idols, their contract and the way they are is very strict. They cannot date at all. And if they're dating, they have to keep it down low. That's why a lot of people talk about, oh, I, d I used to date a K-pop idol once and it was not good. Like, if people don't understand that K-pop idols will date anyone, you think looks matter? <laughs> Wait till you see the... And a lot of K-pop idols have an underground place in California, in LA, that they go to for parties and stuff. If you do know, someone said they're not going to leak it because that's their place to get away from people. But there is a secretive place where K-pop idols hang out and have parties and stuff. But let me tell you something. I I made, cause like I had made a joke, right? And people just run with it and they're like, oh, you think you could get a K-pop idol, haha? -ha? No, I don't want to live that life. Imagine facing death threats and harassment and not having privacy because people don't like you because you're dating an idol that they don't like. I remember the one time it was, was it, someone was like, it was one of the BTS members was out with somebody and this girl got harassed badly. They were putting throw up emojis and harassing her and attacking her because they thought she was dating somebody. It's like the same thing with that red haired model that was seen with Tae Young, or you know V, in Paris, and it was literally, it was bad, it was literally like people started attacking her because she was just seen with him and they both went to a fashion show and people thought they was dating, like, and then it is the blatant racism or like the way they talk about POC people or black stands is crazy. They're like, K-pop idols will never date someone who is black. Like they got so mad when people brought up the fact that the alien and my universe, BTS, Coldplay, she was um, black, a black alien. They were like, ugh, why do you have to mention that she's a black alien? No one cares. It's just like, let people be happy that, you know, they were in love with this black alien. Like, they get so mad when people try to, like, tell them that 
they have shown interest outside of their race and also in black women and they get so mad over that ugh and I don't like they'll never date a black I'm like how do you know that do you live with them cause whenever there was that clip of Meg the Stallion when she came out for the PTD LA um, and it was was it Jin? I believe it was Jin. Whenever he, they were singing that part, got the right body and the right mind, and he was like pointing to make the sound. He's like, got the right body and the right mind, and people were so mad over that. Like, uh, you know, they get so jealous. She has a new movie coming out called Tech Challengers and it looks interesting. Zendaya. But K-pop stands are so toxic and they got even... Let me tell you something. People told me to unalive myself because I said Blackpink's Pink Venom was mid. Because they took a lot of parts and pieces of lyrics from iconic hip-hop songs from back in the day. Notorious B.I.G. Rihanna. Even 50 Cent. And people got so mad, they told me to unalive myself because I said Blackpink's Pink Venom was mid. And also, K pop stands told me to unalive myself and got mad because I said K pop stands are toxic. And they thought I was saying idols. And K pop, some K pop idols are toxic. If you want to get into it, which I don't know why I still follow him, but Jay Park. I used to like Jay Park, and then he was really problematic because, um,. He supported one of his artists that wore a do-rag and people called it out and said it's not fashion, which it's not. It's like for hair protection for black men and black women. It's like, you know, and he literally said he literally didn't understand why people was attacking his artist for wearing a do-rag. After he was under the label Rock Nation label, which is um, Jay-Z's label. And he was signed under the label. Not only that, he got kicked out of Korea for he was literally in in the in the K-pop group 2 p.m. He got kicked out of the group for saying controversial stuff about Korea. He got kicked out of Korea, was sent to America, and was able to come back and perform in Korea again. But he's been hella problematic. He's literally worn cultural appropriated hairstyles. I think he also like I said, he defended the artist who wore do rag. He's just been so problematic. The NAACP Image Awards was their first red carpet appearance after he was found guilty. But despite being fired by Marvel, having films like Magazine Dreams pulled and basically shunned by much of the industry, Jonathan was ready to celebrate it and black excellence. We are here, we make beautiful art, uh, and the contribution that, that's made uh, to the, uh, film it looks like she's not even like there. Like she's just, I don't know, making good. Blacklisted. I don't know how people still like Jerry Seinfeld. Do they not know he picked up his girlfriend? I I thought I had heard he picked up his girlfriend at a high school, but apparently he picked up his underage girlfriend at Central Park, which is literally in New York City. You know the 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 infamous park. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Jerry Seinfeld picked up his underage girlfriend and dated her. She was like 17, still in high school, when he was a, a stand-up comedian. So there's, I found that out and I was like, Ugh. I don't know how people still like Seinfeld or Jerry Seinfeld. Ugh. Larry 
from lockup and the whole debate. Yes, after 24 years, 12 seasons, and 120 episodes, last night Larry ended his hit HBO series with a pretty, pretty star-packed final episode. He's the kind of man who cares. Sting, or no, I mean, yeah, or whoever it is, from the police, I think. Bruce Springsteen, I couldn't think, sorry. <laughs> My brain. He and Larry David wrote and created the show Seinfeld, which was a big flop and a failure until it became a success. But yeah, there was a whole thing on about Seinfeld. <laughs> but the fact that I found out that Jerry Seinfeld, it's not shocker because are we surprised anymore about the age gaps in Hollywood and a lot of celebrities dating underage? Like, it's not a surprise. And I was just watching The Green Mile with Josh, what is his name? The Hutcherson guy that dated a 16 year old girl that got bullied by Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen bullied this 16-year-old girl who was dating um, Hutcherson from the Green Mile, the one who's the a-hole um, warden that didn't wet the sponge, that one. He asked the parents for that girl's hand in the marriage, and the parents said yes, which is really weird. You let your 16-year-old daughter get married to a 50-year-old man. There is no excuse for that. And then, on top of that, this was the same girl that got bullied by Chrissy Teigen, who also went after a young black, um, what was I gonna say, artist? A young black actress who was, uh, yeah, this little black actress, this little girl who was a black actress. She said some horrible stuff about her. And I don't understand why Chrissy Teigen is still getting opportunities after that. This was way beyond some bullying stuff. Considering you're married to a black man, John Legend, and you said that about this girl. Yeah. Around the time she was bullying that 16 year old. And then she thinks that, oh, because she apologized everyone should forget but you did say what you said about that young black actress and we didn't forget i think it was on facebook or twitter i can't remember but she did get exposed while being exposed for bullying that 16 year old but imagine your parents well i couldn't imagine because my parents would, ne would have never let me what imagine parents allowing their daughter to get married to a 15 year old man a 50 year old man and you're and she's 16 that's weird and he was like a huge hollywood actor because he was in the green mile with tom hanks that's just weird I mean, I would understand why Beyonce doesn't show up because country is so racist. Even though we created it, the people in country uh, don't like. That's why. What's his name? Was it Hootie and the Blowfish? You know, Darius Rucker was like, yeah, that's why I stepped away from country music because the way I was was treated when I made country music. I faced a lot of racism and I'm like exactly and they're trying to shove black people out of a out of a genre we created so I would understand her not wanting to go I'm sorry, but why are we celebrating a man that talked about strange fruiting black people? Toby Keys? 
and 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 how Willie Nelson performed that song with him. I did not know about this until someone said something after he died. I didn't post anything about him passing away because I was like, if I don't see black people posting anything, I know he probably got exposed for something. Sure enough, I, I've never really listened to Toby Keith, so I didn't know until someone was like, yeah. They had a whole discussion on their live and they showed like from Twitter the screenshot of the song, the lyric of the song, and how Willie Nelson had performed it with him. I was like, yeah, yikes. But I do love Jelly Roll. Have a good one, get on one here. I'm watching extra can we change it i'm like watching extra and i don't know why sorry my mom's okay guys for those of you that are like is your mom okay she's okay it's just overactive thyroids Take coffee. <laughs> My mom does not like strong medicines and stuff. <laughs> Below deck, American Dad solo in Star Wars. Oh, look what's on Seinfeld. Boo! I'm just kidding. South Park is on. <laughs> Love it or list it. Oh, I like that show too. I should see when Love It or List It is on. So that's Mr. Slay, the teacher's assistant. Or as I like to write for short, the teacher's ass. Oh, dude. Okay, Mr. Slay, go sit until I need you. Oh. Dude, I think that Mr. Slay guy might be a. I'm not saying the rest of the school year is going to be easy. In fact, <laughs> Mr. Slay. <it's> <laughs> Anyways, let's. Oh, Varsity Blues is on. I think they super glued this closed. Why? I can't open it. It's changed the batteries. Oh, well. Oh, uh, I hate Reba. Closing out with you. Next. Mean Girl Murders is coming on. Love It or Listed is coming on. They have HOAs and apartments. I didn't know that. I thought it was only for houses. Because we had an HOA. Wow. 
in one of the in, in our old house that we lived in. I'm always on the home network channel, HGTV. This is like my channel. Because I watch my lottery dream home. And I watch um, Hillary, you know, love it or list it. <laughs> I don't like that bedroom space or whatever that is. That looks small and not. Oh, cheese balls. <laughs> That's what my mom's going to eat. Thank you for the um heart puff, whatever it is. I couldn't even think. Thank you. I love that there's industrial piping all around the house. I also really, really like the layout as well as that massive bedroom. I don't really love that I have to make a lot of changes like renovating the kitchen and fixing up that bathroom. I really want to be able to walk in and not have to do any work. Um, and again, massive bedroom? Was that the bedroom? Because it didn't look big. It looked like a long hallway. You know what sucks about Instacart and DoorDash is the overprices. I why why should we be paying fifty dollars just to get like a thing of medicine? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Because of the little extra fees. Like if I have to go to the store super sick and I can't get out of bed, I'm gonna force myself to get out of bed just not to have to pay those extra fees. Like yeah, it's convenient if you're too sick to get out of bed, but it's expensive. You're gonna pay the price. <laughs> Like just for a little bit of stuff, and then you have to pay like fifty dollars. Call now. This is not just a stop for allergies. This is a great price for what you need to survive the season. That's by an expert. Right in your neighborhood. Gaming on air. What is this? Alice loves the scent of gang so much. Activity tasks. 
Okay, so it says 20 times go live with game related content over 25 minutes for the first time. Bonus reward go live with studio for over 25 minutes, first time only with game related content. Okay, that makes sense. I have, I can go live through my computer now. TikTok gave me the option, but I don't have a computer to go live on. But yeah, they literally gave me the option to go live. Like I didn't have it and then I guess I unlocked it or something or I was gifted the ability to go live on the computer. So that's cool. I need my tripod so I can aim it at the TV and aim it at myself. But I have to be careful about what I show, so. Cause there's that dual camera that they have on TikTok. Thank you for the heart puff where you can like have it faced at you and have it faced at the TV. But my, my bigger tripods in storage. So, and plus I have to be careful what I show in the background because if people see that, they'll try to dox me. But I'm not trying to get docked, so. I've always never, well, I understand it being called house hunters because they do search for houses, but I never understood because I'm like, sometimes they pick apartments for people instead of houses. Are apartments considered houses? Because I'm always confused. Like, I wouldn't want to live in an apartment if I could buy a house. Thank you for the heart pack. That is a nice house or apartment, but walking up four flights is no. It's good exercise. Good exercise for who? <laughs> like, I can understand. But thank you for the heart puff. Imagine being so tired that you, you barely even make it up your stairs. Thank you for the heart puff. But not bad. I think she's gonna pick that one. I have a feeling she's gonna pick that one. That one's a good investment, I think. 
think that I wouldn't. But I'm a little concerned that she's thinking about things too far down the line as opposed to the things that I need right now. And so if I have more space than I actually need, I don't know if I'm going to be happy with all of that extra. Now we are at the grand finale. Wow, look at that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having extra space if you don't really need it because eventually down the road you may get a place where you don't have no space like and then you're like oh well i want to move because i have no space but if you have too much extra space it always gives you like the option where if you outgrow space you have space makes sense more space for less money I would take that <laughs> if I was her. Light in the bathroom does definitely give me that spot feel. I do think that there is a huge perk in having an extra half bath, but it's really far away from everything. Even though this has more bang for my buck, I'm a little concerned that it's just going to be too much for me right now. This has great potential, and now that you're buying your property, you have to start thinking like an adult. Oh. If I was her, I would snatch that. I mean, for me personally, I do understand because if she's by herself and all that space, like, I wouldn't like to have, I wouldn't like to have a large space and be by myself. Like, <laughs> unless someone is living with me, imagine living in a mansion all by yourself and not having nobody there. <laughs> That's lonely. I mean, well, I can't imagine that because I probably would never have a mansion. Even if I was rich, I wouldn't get a mansion. That's why. I know I, I'm going to convince my mom to get a love sack. Even if it's expensive. I've seen the, the ones that have like the system like this what do you call it like the sound system in the couch and it will we buy the house because obviously we're gonna have to buy furniture i'm gonna tell her this is the couch that we need to get trust me you will fall in love with this couch my mom will be sleeping more on that couch than in her bedroom i'll be like mom you, we, we literally have to get this couch trust me <laughs> <laughs> and Honda, we've chased down a lot of brands. Each one leading to the next. All the way to our latest. Introducing the all new, all electric Honda Pro Up. Our latest innovation on the road to be It's so loud outside and it's so loud in here. That toilet is always running too. It's broken. You have to put the thing up in order for it to flush next time. And then... But yeah, it's just... It runs a lot. And I'm just like, why is it always running? That's a waste of water. And I and I feel like guys I'm starting to get tired. Five hundred and fifty K budget is what she has, dang. I love that 
industrial stairwell, but I think it's still a little too big. Plus, it's far away from everything. Let's think about it we have easy and special transportation, but look at all the space that you have, even the only use that you don't need right now, if you're talking about an investment in the future. So, we need to think about it. I know. I would go with that third one because you're getting what you're getting for your money and it's a lot cheaper. The HOA fee is not that much and it's a lot of space. No, I did not. I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. I ended up getting the row house right in the middle of the city. Having a space that was smaller was, I think, ultimately the best thing for me. It's the perfect size and everything is super sleek and modern, so I don't have to worry. She went with the second one. Money to fix it up the way that I want. Or the first one, I mean. Thank you. Oh, I only put it for two seconds. The house was originally listed for 434. I ended up putting in an offer at 420, and they counted with 429, which is what we closed on. Mom and I flew in yesterday, so she could be with me when I signed and picked up my keys. So we had our first night on an air mattress, but honestly, I don't even care. Now it's all about decorating the space like I like and enjoying my new neighborhood. 78 inches. Okay. I think my favorite space is So is it a kitchen bedroom thing? Area. Granted it's small, but I'm gonna really be able to tailor and curate it to what I want to be. And plus something outside of that. Oh. Even if I don't have the best view, it's still gonna be great because it's mine. This is so cool. I'm excited for you. Thanks, I mean being a first time owner of anything is exciting. But for me I wouldn't like living in a place that is a kitchen slash bedroom. <laughs> Being a homeowner is cool, but you could have got a nicer house for 400 and something. I, like, you could have got a two-bedroom house. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like maybe she couldn't afford the fees of a house, but... Like, what she got for 400000 Dang. <laughs> that was 400000 That was small. Why is everything expensive and you get this, like, little tiny space? That's crazy. <laughs> I can't wait till I show keys and be like, I own a house. When we first walked into it, we fell in love immediately. All that lovely old trim, the original hard and floors. It's a nice house, but it looks cluttered. Renovated game floor. It looks super cluttered. <laughs> This is random. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. I would much rather just pack it up. We get a bad <laughs> uh, Very so bad. Picking up painting, and there's no space for me to set up a studio, so I've been forced to set shop up here. This has got to change. Mask user, hey, <laughs> it's, it's awful. Anyways. I don't want to spend time down there. Hillary can come and give you a great studio down here. Not necessarily sure I'm interested in the dingy, stinky basement for my studio. When it's finished, it's going to seem like this, this beautiful oasis to escape to. Okay. Oasis. He seems very the picky. problem with this house is very picky. It feels like my tooth was like bleeding or something. Nothing. It seems like nothing will make him happy. I'd rather have a light bathroom. Let's continue with a second floor tour. There's not one inch of space 
that doesn't creak. They, they do need to be refreshed. Although the creaking lets you know where you are all the time. <laughs> one of the bedrooms is being used as an office. This is one of my closets. I've got clothes here under the bed. There's shoes. It's really hard to, to find anything. It's all about to go up to the third floor. I mean, all the clothes. All I want is one space where all of my stuff is. I don't think that Hillary can magically create space to have a closet big enough for all my stuff. I'm confident that she's going to be able to do it. You're a delusion. That's what you are. I love this house. I know it can be exactly what we need it to be. We're stuck. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. Thank you for the heart, me. I am going to see how this goes. Sometimes I'm really good at saying, oh, they're going to sell their house. You can just tell when someone's going to sell or keep their house. They will agree on something. Just right now, you know, you're probably like, they're going to sell the house because he's the, the guy with the glasses. You can't see, but he's really picky. You can't see what he looks Why? like, but. Why do you hate it? Because I know how much they probably love it. Just because of the sheer beauty of it. Very nice. Thank you. 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 Thank
No two bodies are the same. Some of us never got that message. But always flex from dip. It protects against different clothes for up to zero leaks. Someone sent me houses for rent um, on this one place and I was looking and I saw that house and I was like, oh, but it's outside of Albuquerque and it was really nice, four bedroom, 1,200, but I was like, you know what? My mom was like, no. I'm like, <laughs> but I do understand, okay? I do understand not wanting to move out of the, out of the city. I was like, I don't mind it. I could pay the utilities. Thank you for following. Play Thompson, Sarah Rogers. Hey, yo, you need your eyes, Jack. I've got to America's best. For a comprehensive quality eye exam, it is. America's best, because I care is healthcare, and you deserve the best. Our biggest challenge, uncertainty. Can you surcharge it? See? Thank you for following. Keep it simple and clear up for pricing. I don't know. I've been. I have to see if any TikTok shops responded to me after the message I sent. There was a lot of TikTok shops that had me go to a Google Docs and fill it out. And one TikTok shop said they were gonna send me a juicer. They never sent me. At the old place, I don't think I ever received it. And I'm like, I don't know about these TikTok shops, but. A lot of them have been closing down. Like, I noticed the ones that reached out to me ended up their shop closed. That would be cool to own a farmhouse. How long have you lived here? 25 years. Let me ask you what you have done in this house. We've done the main floor, second and third floor, still need a lot of work, and a whole basement. Wow, okay. So I've done an evaluation on your home. Uh, the current value is $1.3 million. All right? Okay. What is the must have in this to get you out of this house? So what we're looking for, three bedrooms. Plus a dedicated studio space for Luke, dedicated office space for me, two and a half bathrooms, okay. working fireplace, nice outdoor space, and we definitely need a large updated kitchen. Okay. Character home in a neighborhood that's got good walkability. It doesn't have to be this neighborhood. Nope. Hey, how do you guys feel about fun? I haven't really oh, thought fun. about it, but, but we're open to it. Good. Yeah. My grandma's, uh, my grandma, uh, owned and lived in a condo before she had to go to a home because she couldn't take care of herself. She had a condo. To be completely honest, I'm still stressed out from the renovation we mm -hmm. did 15 years ago. Wow. I haven't decided. So you're aware? Okay. We want the third floor turned into our retreat. Nice bedroom, <laughs> nice bathroom, and a closet that can hold all of my stuff. Fix the creaking floors, update second floor bathroom. Everything creaks in this place too. I don't like the creaking, especially the bathtub. The bathtub creaks a lot. And I'm like, oh, that's not good. The floors feel like they're gonna cave in. Let me tell you something. The pictures we saw of this place is why we came here. And this place is far from what the pictures are are providing. Like literally what the picture showed versus what we got was a whole lie. <laughs> it's still nice. 
It's an upgrade than what we had, but. What you need to be happy here, and I think, I think you're gonna love it. I'm happy that you, you know, now you're looking like you're getting me to put the cups. Even here, say about this one. Still. I think it would be great if you could find one. It's not as advertised. The choice is so starkly different. It's a lifestyle. Yes. No, the potential for a pool, there's a potential for a workout room. You've got such wide parameters. It's ridiculous. However, I can deliver the last. My my phone case is discolored. I need to get a new phone case too. So our budget is one hundred and ten thousand. And I'm surprised. This is a really good phone case. I got it from Five Below. With the screen protector that I had gotten from Five Below. No head space up here though. Well, that's exactly why I want to dorm around at his height. I would like to dorm around the whole summer. And then dorm here and dorm around the side here. Chance is a very large closet. This would be the ensuite bathroom. Separate tub, fabulous shower, double vanity, light coming in the windows, which is beautiful. Thank you, the Thank you for joining. Now, I want to look at the second floor. Oh, it's nicer down here. This would be his studio. This is the bathroom. This needs to be completely gutted and renovated. So that's it. Dorming at the third floor is expensive. And it can open up a can of worms. You just don't know. I need those dorms. I know it's a big ticket item. You have to. Hello, hello. That staircase is very slim. Thank you for gifting. Now, we're gonna go down to the second floor. Let's go. This could be your seat. Ah, there is beautiful light and view. Okay. This is somewhat inspirational. Uh, the only concern is that now we have no place to put guests because we've lost the bedroom upstairs. The reason why they're thinking sleep is so in the television room. That's a great idea. The bathroom yeah. still have. I'm gonna sneeze. Now, also, a second shower and a double vanity. Sure. Sure. It will not be as huge as the bathroom. <laughs> but it will still be a really good size. Yeah. I agree. Ooh. And I just hope I can deliver everything that Luke and Jim were expecting from me. Oh, I think it's delicious. We don't know what we're gonna get when we open up the walls and. I, I'm just worried that like, <coughs> if I have to roll back on the vision that I presented to them about their fabulous new French floor, I think both of them will then be offside and I will have a real problem bringing them back. When flipping in Hawaii, you will encounter the craziest things that you That looks nice to have a skylight, but I don't know if I would want one in my house. The chain strip is the savory, juicy, delicious, 
delicious. Chick fil A. Like you add on to that, the sweet and the tang that you get from the sauce, and it's just an incredible flavor combo. Real customer paid for their testimonial. My brother bought some more Chick-fil-A sauce. He's been really obsessed with that Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm like, what's so good about it? I haven't tried it. My mom tried it. She really loved it. And he bought it because of that video where the girl was like, no Chick-fil-A sauce? Where she was like, can I get some barbecue sauce? And then she's like, no Chick-fil-A sauce? <laughs> but yeah. I should just finish the rest of it. Oh I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> Very sleepy. <laughs> Your Thank you for the rose. Whether because of discomfort, lack of mobility, our biggest competitor is going back to feeding their chickens antibiotics before they're even sick. You can't solve your problems by throwing antibiotics out. Thank you. At Purdue, we promise to stay no antibiotics ever. Purdue. Nature's bounty hair growth. Clinic the shelf to help grow thicker, fuller hair with just one capsule a day of advanced. If you products. lay it like upside down, if you have your head hanging over the bed and you massage your head, that helps your hair grow. Supposedly, someone posted a video on TikTok saying that. Lay with your head hanging over the bed and massage it. And it'll and it'll like help your hair grow. My hair smells like, smells musty. It's this shampoo I tried. I don't like it. I'm going to show Jimmy Luke a condom. I can't just show them any condom. It's going to have to be spectacular. And this condo is, it's got a beautiful view of the lake three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's got potential for an art space and an office space. It's got all the amenities we're gonna need for the storage. So, it's going to look. I'm sure you see Snickers are- Thank you for the heart puff. There's restaurants. And for the rose. I just need to get my Shea Moisture shampoo. But I can't, I can't really use that one because my mom can't use it. So, do you notice the natural light? That's the thing because for her, she doesn't have like the hair that I have because her hair is not curly. And so it works for me, but it makes her hair super itchy. When she uses it. And I'm like, dang. I never expected a condom like this in the fall. in trouble. Laundry. It's on your main floor. Not. I might have to buy me my shampoo and buy her her shampoo. It's working for me. Because I need it. It works. Because this one does not smell good. I don't like it. I don't like anything that smells like linen. Linen smells. Ugh. Thank you for the roses. Someone told me to add some stuff to my list, and I haven't been able to. I need to do that, and I need to change the address to the wish list. <laughs> that username that just shared the live. Sorry. Yeah, we still, still not in the elevator. I guess we can go over there, but yeah, you gotta park right there. Uh, let's go look at the rest of the condo. Up here, you have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. 
Thank you for sharing the live. Double sinks, separate toilet. The shower is big enough to have a party. Yeah. It continues with the story. What, what is a... Never mind. King size bed. So, what do you think? Hillary can't create space. Nothing like this. It's a view of other condominiums. I kind of want a view of the skyline of the of the city. How do you feel about it overall? You hit it out of the park. It just feels very... Industrial and being so close to the freeway is just a hum of the noise that may get so we're really putting entertain outside. What do you think this car goes this tonight? I think this is over by two, probably at one point nine million dollars. I'm thinking it's one point six million dollars. This condo is listed at one point seven million dollars. Right on budget. I think the next step with a new dog, you need direct access to outside. You see what I can come up with? What is that? Is that okay? <laughs> what did you think? Almost sterile. Trees and greenery. Given the fact that they have a dog, it goes and then look, disappears. Magic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Doesn't need to be a completely different direction. You know, townhouse, loft, but something that has direct access to the outside. After seeing this place, I'm like so excited about the possibility. In case you guys hear that music in the background, Avril Lavigne. The upstairs floor is sagging over the yard studio. Yeah, what is it? Is this floor? We are now underneath the bedroom that's, that's right. proposed yes. for the third floor. Right. Yeah, there was a bit of a wow in it. The engineers come back with his to do list and report. It's just a huge scope work that he needs us to do here. Just the bedroom? Just the bedroom. We have to do two beams across here and here and point low down underneath into the floor to assist with those joists. <coughs> and then. You're going to have to fix all the walls. Okay. And that's what's eaten into the budget. So what about the dormers? I need those dormers. The allowance we had for the dormers is short. Well, how much more do we need? All $15,000. If we don't get money from the clients, I don't think we're going to get it. I don't know how to make this work without dormers. Anyway, all right. I'll talk to uh, Luke and Jim. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're getting your steps in. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. This is a big change. the scope of work to be done within this space and right on top of your old bedroom. This has blown my budget. To fix a side floor. Yes. It's surprising. I'm not a here. Yeah. I'm like, especially since you've been like this for over 100 years. So here's my program. Here's the hammer. Here is the hammer. I can't even door this. It's a minimum of $12,000. Could top out at fifteen thousand dollars. Come on. We buy and renovate homes in the most restrictive place in the whole country, boy. We don't come from. We're putting people into the most beautiful place on the planet. It's not looking good. <laughs> Usually, when they have extra costs, they don't. They end up selling it. But we'll see. After this, I'm gonna head out because I'm like tired. I need to get some sleep. But I'm gonna go on YouTube and look something up because I have to do
Thank you for the roses. All bots roll out. <laughs> I am Optimus Prime. How did they? How did they make their voices like that? I am Optimus Prime. Autobots roll out. <sighs> I feel like certain voices, like voice actors, are so highly blessed because they make millions of dollars just off their voice. I could not be a voice actor. I don't think anyone's looking for a character that requires a voice like mine. It would have to be a really unique character out of this world unless I created a character where I use my voice. Thank you for gifting. Ooh, I have the hiccups. You sold me on this beautiful vision of what the third floor was going to be, and now you're chipping away at it. Don't ask me for another penny because I'm not prepared to give you another penny. I could do skylights. Good idea. Wood we'll bring us all Okay. So I think that might okay. ease you. I'm honestly very disappointed. I guess it's not your fault. Everything right now is hinging on this structural work that we have to do. Oh, and the cute doggy that's asleep. Finally, to give them these skylights. I got that feeling inside that's making me want to go. She's had a nice alternative with skylights that we hadn't thought of. I need to have skylights in this space when there is no way at all that Nick will want to stay or Jane. Remember the last renovation you had anxiety. But at the end of the project, I hope they don't have more expenses anxiety. because they're not gonna want to happen again. What do you think, Sophie? I think I can find four thousand dollars in the budget. Let's do this. I think if I can pull this off, I have a pretty good chance. Hillary manages to find room in her budget for the skylights and work moves ahead with the new plan. While David is excited to show Luke and Jim a house in their own neighborhood. This one's kind of sound like show Luke and Jim. It's literally 30 seconds from their house. I have a Eagers. Finished basement apartment. It's a fantastic guest space. On the main floor. It looks like my lip is pilling. I don't know why my lip is doing that, but it's splitting. A beautiful main bedroom with tons of storage. And it hurts when it splits. I don't know why it just splits. I need like a... What is that lip scrub thing? Might work. Look at you guys. Okay. Time for them to give up their house. I I like that house just when they just walked in. Oh no, but I don't like the fact that there's like a parking lot right next to the sliding door. Anyone can just walk up. A lot of extra space. You're gonna love the next space that we're going to. Oh, you know what that is up there? And guess what you're going to be doing up there? This could be a game changer. Come on. <laughs> oh, art studio. This is the, probably the nicest garage you'll see. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, that's why, because that's their garage. Never mind. This is even nicer than that other studio with a condo. A lot more room, a lot more light. You're out of that house. It's that I was just about to say. You're out of the house. I'm just going to attempt to deliver something. No way, 
Beautiful bathroom. This is a bathroom. Head next door. All right. For our skinny friends. But there's nothing funny about second floor laundry. Oh. Huh? Yeah. 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 You're a main bedroom. Look at these windows. They're amazing. Lots of nuts in my Oh, that's great. Shoes are going to go right here. Oh, my God. Specific for shoes. Made for you. Yeah, in the bathroom. Double sinks. Last and shower. So let's head down to the kitchen and talk about it. Luke, how do you feel about this overall? Is this a place you could potentially see yourself moving into? Yes. There was the garage and the studio. And then there was the couch space. And then there was the beautiful upstairs. What do you think this house is this like? I would say $1.8 million. I'd say $1.7 million. This house is $1.7 million. Can you see yourself living here? doesn't have the charm and feeling of a home for me. Okay. I mean, between this house and that separate studio, this is a rare find. It looks modernized though. I understand like a lot of houses wanting to go modern, like, problem is, or new, you know, like black and white. And one of them doesn't. That studio in the finished basement to boot. Yeah, that's really unexpected. I need to find something that is a blend of what these two guys love. And I don't necessarily think it's going to be a house or a con. Something in between, something interesting, but it's something that has to have some character to it. I think we know what it is. Uh, that is not a house or a condo. Well, then what is it? Because if it's an apartment, I wouldn't. It's an ideal, but in this case, to eliminate the suites, to really get at least 80% of this gone. Well, can we lower the cost by screwing through the hardwood into the subfloor to reduce squeaking instead of replacing everything? For this hallway, the squeakiest part, we would be better off to remove the hallway, sheet it properly, Put in the same type of floors and stain them to match. They won't look new. I don't think they want them to look new, but they might want all these floors. Then what? Well, if they do want the floors to look new, we're looking at an increase of about three thousand dollars. If they want us to match what they had existing, we're looking at about five thousand dollars. Great. Good. Okay, done. Hillary, we're here. Excited to see what's happening. Oh. The drywall on the ceiling. Looking good. I agree. When the drywall goes up, it's game changer. Yeah. All right, the floors. Okay. Right here. Yep. The squeaky, mm -hmm. noisy, not great looking floors. Different options of how to Thank you for following. the noise, which is amazingly bad. We all agree mostly yep. in this hallway. Into this room, which is going to be your art space. There'll be a nice big rug covering up most of the floor. Okay. We rip up all the floorings on the landing and the hallway, match out the strip flooring, and we feather it in so that it will bring us into this space and your office. I can do that within budget. What cost you a dime? This is not as creaky, so the only thing we have to address is making them look better. And what does the floor look like in here? We'll make it as uniform as we possibly can. It's not going to look all scuffed up like this. It's going to look as going to look like new. Just kind of doing a light bump at the other rooms. I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. There is a choice. Okay. And that is to literally just go out. Everything will be brand new. If we go with the flooring that we have on the third floor, which is a wider plank, yep. that will cost you three thousand dollars. Or if we go with the strip flooring, these boards, so they'll be in keeping with the premium numbers, five thousand more than your budget. Thank you for the chili. <laughs> Sophia Yagara. I knew that's who it was. Swarfscops, whatever it is. The hair guy. Significant improvement over 
Perfect chance. Okay. Do you Every second feels like an eternity. Primitive Mist works fast. It's clinically shown to open airways quickly. Get the number one FDA-approved mm -hmm. over-the-counter Aslan inhaler. Primitive Mist, breathe easy again. All now. Welcome to Stormy Heights. Where the windows are always pellet. Pellet's fiberglass is the strongest material for windows in the patio doors. The fiberglass frame is even scratch and dead resistant. Pellet windows. See those replacement windows by Pellet now. Good director. We almost done a crime. We need to keep it extra fresh. Ryan Reynolds. Or I mean Ryan Gosling. Why did I say Ryan Reynolds? You know, I've been calling people by the wrong names all the time. Ryan Gosling. Why did I say Ryan Reynolds? And I said that with such confidence. Wasn't it Emily Blunt? Wasn't she the one that they said she looked like, um, Katy Perry? Ocrevus is proven effective in reducing relapses in RMS and slowing disability progression and reducing brain lesions in RMS and PPMS. Don't take Ocrevus if you have Hep B and tell your doctor about vaccinations or if you've had colitis or Hep B as Hep B could come back. A common side effect of Ocrevus is infusion reactions, some will be serious, and increased risk of colitis hey and guys. Ocrevus, and it can increase the risk of infections. PML is rare, but may have Infections and PML can be like Why does it feel like it's the long episode? The longest episode <laughs> With all the commercials and stuff. I should just finish this. Because it's almost gone anyway. Because it's almost. It's money well spent to make it look as best as it can. 
And so, let's give Shimmy a call. Hi. We don't think it's going to look as good as if we do the whole thing. So there's some consistency. We'll pay three thousand dollars to have that done. Wow. Make me very happy, Hillary. Thank you. Jim and Luke are real gems. It's a and it's not a house. But what I'm about to show Jim and Luke is going to give them more square footage than they currently have and everything that they need. Details, three bedrooms, and four bathrooms. Huge eat-in kitchen, family room combination, 20-foot ceiling, windows. Well, what do they need with four bathrooms? It's its own bathroom. It's kind of a hard space. There's no one. This is a great neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> That's all you're thinking of all Of course. It's so nice. I know. All right, let's go. Come on. Go. Yeah. Cool. Isn't it? It's a big space. So, you've got two front wall houses. Laundry. Nice. And a laundry tub. I need a powder room. Oh, it's us. Designated guest room. So your guests are going to have them in the bathroom. Just look down this hallway and what kind of a feeling it gives you. Obviously modern, but a little bit of character. It's an incredible space. I want you to think about the difference between your current entertaining space and this. I love our room, but this is Different proposition. <laughs> like a polished concrete. <laughs> the industrial feel of it, and it's cozy. It's completely different. Yeah. 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 I'm working on it. Beyond words. If I like words for a second. We're going to get there, but that's where we're going to do our artwork. <laughs> there you go. So, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think you're going to beat the, the last floor. So this is a little sitting room area outside of your art space. Another cozy little space. You have the natural light. I can't wait to get the start painting. This is a great space. The main bedroom, oh, which has an incredible <laughs> Walk-in closet. <laughs> this is spectacular. Hillary's not giving us anything. My shoes can go on here. And on display. And they're lit up. Uh, as they should. Uh, 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 I find this a little bit of a funny stuff. But there are <laughs> two toilets. One behind this door. Yeah. And there's one behind this door. Oh, so they're little water closets. Isn't that fantastic? It gives them a purse. Well, I guess you could say that. <laughs> and look at the size of that jacket. There's two parties in this place. Oh, yeah. And we're not done yet. This uh, gives you that outdoor space, you know, that you need for the dog. Right? You've got a little grass area down there, an outdoor shower. You've got a hookup for the gas barbecue, also a hookup for a hot tub. Oh, no so way. if you want a hot tub up here, you can have one. I'm, I'm almost finished. I know. All right, let's head down to the main floor and talk about it. 1,009, that's what I think it is. I mean, 1 million. 1,009, imagine a place like that. that outdoor space. I agree, you tick all the boxes. And I'm looking around trying to think of something negative to say about it, but I really can't. Probably just the price. <laughs> well, let's find out. <laughs> Do you think this is the same? I think it's $2.1 million. $2.3 million. This is listed at $1,750,000. <laughs> so it is over budget. But it's fifty grand. <laughs> Five fifty grand. What's wrong with this place? <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with this place. I would never have thought that this gorgeous place would be within a budget. So, 
I am assuming that we don't need to look at any more places. I don't think you could find a better place at a better price. Yeah. Hey, hey. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. There are definitely moments in my life that I wish Hillary Farr was right here. This is one. What did you think? What did you think of it? I think you love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's a good Their house can't compete with this on any of these levels. She's gonna have to do a really, really, really good job to have me even remotely consider staying. I love this place, and I could see, I could see us living here too. Now, is she gonna do something incredible to their house? Absolutely. What is that gonna mean? It's gonna cost a lot of money. But I, I don't understand, right? It's just like a car or anything. If you want a house built how you like it, it would I would feel like it would be a lot harder to sell because what if someone doesn't want to buy it because of what you put in it that you like, but they don't like it. Like, it's not what you like. Shouldn't it be what... What other people like if they're gonna sell it? I mean, again, they're remodeling it for what they like, but again, it'll be a lot harder to sell. In my opinion, I think it would because it's what they liked. Unless someone is looking for that. That's a nice or in that commercial. Ask your doctor about breast treatment. Where'd you go? I can't find you. We're in a home surrounded by uh, uh, bases. These prices, I'm going to get all of these. I like abstract art. I don't get it, but I like it. It's never leave. Introducing a new home collection. Discover it all at Kohl's. From the number one rated brand in Kohl's outdoor power. Zero turn riding mower with knee steer technology. Drives like a car, turns on a dime. Delivering power to the control with the precision of a steering wheel. It's weather resistant and with 22 horsepower. Now that's really making me want to. What do you call it? A yard so I can mow the lawn and a lawnmower. That G E G O lawnmower. Now I kind of want to get a place with a yard so I can buy that lot more. Even though it might be how expensive, like five thousand dollars, but still. Don't get outmatched by the outdoor heat. We clean your backyard with a sharp flex breeze. It packs a punch with a powerful breeze of over 70 feet. Its refreshing mist drops temps by 10 degrees, creating the ultimate outdoor oasis. Going inside, so is flex breeze. It transforms to cool where you need it most. Have a small tabletop, corner or corner. That's what I need. That fan that's for outside. <laughs> 37 subs and not one chatting. What is happening? <laughs> you literally made a username just to say that. Everyone's dead. It is late. It's like 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. Sorry. <coughs> I would be tired too. I'm tired. I, I want to go to bed too. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I am going to go to bed. I'm tired. I'm like, I'm like y'all. I'm on the live, but I'm not really on the live. I'm like. But I said after this episode, I'm leaving, so. I thought I had, is that? Yeah. It's a good way to stop. 
I think I got it. No. Sorry, guys. It's kind of gross, but I have... That does not look good. So far, so really good. So, on this floor, we gave you a new basket. Sorry, guys. Oh, it looks like it's bleeding. I like it. It really is very unique. It goes with your style. I love it. Are you ready to go and see your studio? Yes, please. So we've already done I love it. Uh, I have to wait till I get off the line because that does not. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What a great space. Such a dramatic scene. Does it seem like a room that you could really hang out in and work in? Oh no. Speechless. That's going to be exciting. I like this ring. Oh my oh god, god. what a change. Oh my goodness, look at this. So this is clearly, clearly for somebody. Let's <laughs> <laughs> talk about storage. So have a look. Oh, that looks nice. That looks great. Organized. <laughs> Everything was unfinished. Let's go into the room. Ready, bedroom. <laughs> this is a dramatic change. Look at all the storage. Take a look at this one. You can use it for your sweaters. Honestly, storage was a key issue. This will allow me to have everything in one space. This is. Thank you for liking. Oh, I didn't even notice. You did a great job. I love it. The little bench there, face floor. Walter. Now, this is where we have our new bedroom. Yeah. Oh, this is so Is it bleeding? No. Sorry, guys. <laughs> is giving it some character. That kitchen that was beautiful. You walk through the kitchen into this gorgeous living ceiling. I the walls that I'm like those windows. Sorry. One of the biggest things that Hillary would battle with here with is giving you more storage. And the minute you walk into that unit, it delivered on storage. Now. The renovation that has been done. The pre renovation value of this home was $1.3 million. With a final renovation budget of $113,000, this home is now valued at $1.6 million. That's a value increase of $300,000.
I promised from the beginning that it was going to be an open mind as to what Hillary could deliver. And honestly, she's done a phenomenal job. Maybe it's time to know. I, I don't know. Occasionally we have a situation where it's almost apples and apples, oranges and oranges. This is so far apart. I agree. It's literally, they're going to choose to stay here because it's the familiarity of their neighborhood. There are things they must love about this house or have a complete change and go to where you found them. That loft that we saw, it was amazing. The neighborhood is wonderful. I didn't even notice. He kind of looks like the guy from Modern Family. Yeah, I was so surprised. There are some things there that I think will have an impact on what they choose. Um, one, more space. The ceiling height was 20 feet. What? Can you believe that? And it had this incredible wall for all his artwork. I think we're both on the same page. We've known each other long enough that uh, should we go and give them the news? I think so. Yeah. It seems like they like the stuff in the house, but I'm unsure whether or not they're going to keep it or sell it. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We have decided, as a serious consideration, that we love it. Oh my goodness, that's so neat. Wow, all that space with 20 foot ceilings. Spare me. So, as much as that space was beautiful, Hillary has managed to transform this house into something spectacular, giving us the function that we need. And I was kind of right. I was right. I knew they were going to love it, but I was unsure because they did seem like they're going to fall. It's, it's too beautiful now to sell. It's tough. Oh, wow. I'll negotiate for you. They loved it. Okay, does it look like I have like something or maybe that's on my screen? It looked like I had a lash or something that might be on the screen. Yeah, I see a little tiny like piece of hair fleck or something. Anyways, guys, have a good day or night where you guys are. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to go get some sleep because I'm tired and I need it. So let me open the chat. But have a good day or night where you guys are. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Good night, girl.